Welcome back to another part of the quarry. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. I'm not gonna kick the door. He looks so happy, dude. There we go. And Viola. Uh, Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, uh, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Playful or sarcastic? We'll do playful. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Oh, jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. How disgusting is that? Second most. Right? Second post that we see of this. Harem Scarum? this crap. Why, hello there, sir. Someone saws through a window. <laughs> hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's let's scare Jacob. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, 
Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. A grown man, Jacob? Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. That is one tight clown, dude. <laughs> Scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, do you think it's funny now, little boy? I oh, because you want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. I. I. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. How lame was that? <laughs> okay. I can click again on those. Don't shoot me, please. Wonder where this goes. Locked. Nah, uh, let's not kick the door. Jacob, come check this out. Oh, uh, alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Would have been cool if we could play a mini game doing this. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother -load. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. That's a lot of beer, man. That's definitely more than a six pack. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And, uh, code. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> oh. I guess that's all. So you're, uh... 
You're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Bro, I normally don't play graphic intense games. My PC is just super loud right now. I've put this game to ultra. Ultra graphics. Actually, the first time ever playing like uh, any game full graphics, to be honest, since I bought this machine. It's running pretty smoothly. I guess we're done here. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W well, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Yeah, we'll take it. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Language, bro. You're on YouTube. What are you doing? What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh, my God. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my God. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. For women doing shopping, you could just say trolley. Yep. They all know what that is. It's like a trolley, literally. Well, we're not taking the... Uh, the water lemons? They're just laying there. Okay. Alright. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Friendly, what do you listen to now? Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. <laughs> That's so lame. So, 
Should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. So it seems like the start of every episode, it will lag a little bit though. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Secret sex dungeon. Suspicious. Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. No thanks, I'm not climbing down. Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. It's more mysterious that way. Sure. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ring, ring. Uh, he'll never know. Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. <sighs> That's a design flaw. Kearney and Max Sprindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Maybe it was their bags. That was in the storage. That the people we played before found. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they're pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Now let's not touch the trap door. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Uh, what if we need it? What's the, okay. We're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it, it's it's like my mom always said: if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. 
The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. <laughs> Nothing but that. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Whoa, what? Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just... They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I actually agree with him. It's not to watch the camp, it is to watch what goes in and out of the camp. I think that is the only thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. He even has an expensive microphone. Well, I don't know how expensive it is, but... It's probably nothing. I mean, sure, right? When you see someone walk to a camera and switch it off or disconnect it, it's probably not weird. Okay, these are boring. You better not be talking about my videos, son. Oh, okay. It was hard to get these uh. picked on. Max Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Laura, 
summer camp north kill it's like they were supposed to come but they never arrived Yo, this guy has a duck too. Isn't he a little young to have one? There's nothing, nothing else here. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Are you not gonna close the door? So... Got anything going on when you get back home? School, or...? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major, or...? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? Hey, so did I tell you... Dude! Right. Oh, I can't talk to him anymore. <laughs> nice. Full up. Uh, head to party. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. I'm gonna hate it if people throw my phone to me. That is very expensive stuff, you know? But on their age, obviously they didn't pay for it. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. The art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Shady or Rocky? I'm a slim shady, I want a slim shady, what I want to do. Let's go this way. God, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. I guess the real Slim Shady did stand up. And when I played this game for the first time, the weirdest thing about him is his neck. Look at that. Can you turn so far and look so far behind you that your neck does this? That is absolutely insane, dude. Right? This guy's neck. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we still haven't found a card. Till I see you again. Till the dust 
Bro, please look in front of you. She's stuck in the tree. Run, dude. <laughs> Run. There's something. Uh, you just magically came here. Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's another clue. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Sincere or playful? Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Sounds like a pig. It is. Oh, look! It's so tiny. <laughs> My god, he's so... Save Abby. Just mow me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> actually, a boar. Mm, I actually think it was a boar. They're usually pretty nocturnal, so you don't see many of them during the day. Oh. Well, actually, boars and hogs are both just terms for wild things. 
You learn something new every day. Guess we should head back. Hmm. I didn't know that either. Whores and hogs is just another term for wild pigs. I do know they fall under the family of pig, but... Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Never heard of boar bacon, though. Unless you guys have. <laughs> I would like to know. <laughs> Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Weird lights in the tree? Yeah, let's let's talk about that. I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett Squirry. <laughs> oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's Quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, that's a lot weird. What the heck? Oh. Whoa. Special delivery. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Am I? Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Not a great idea. 
Not leaving you with a gun. Stern or mocking? I think it'll be stern. There is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. <laughs> Let's do it. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. Insultic. So, um, how's your little one on one with Abby in the woods? It was. It was okay. Hey! Attaboy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread, remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Okay, let's do it. Let's try and shoot two at a time if possible. Nice shot. Double kill. I can't get these two, I'm pretty sure. Maybe these two? At least the water lemon. Lucky. Yeah, they put them too far away. You can't get both. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon blaster. That is how you get someone shot. 
Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! You're disqualified <laughs> for being a dumbass. What? No! Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter. Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. Blam! You thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. I disagree with that. Uh, she was not a contestant. She's disqualified. He's the referee. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I interrupt. Don't interrupt. I, I'm actually. I want to hear. It. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> I think her answer is yes. Obviously, she slept with someone. Okay. Um. Uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare. Uh, let's go with there. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Caitlin did something very bad in the first time I played the game. So I'm going to kiss Dylan. I know, I know I shouldn't, okay? But I'm going to just see. Because then it should be Dylan's turn again. Dylan, let's go. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Always happy to please. Woo! Please let it be Dylan's turn, not Caitlin's. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Poor Caitlin. 
Because I'm not going to choose her again. Jacob. He's going to choose Dare 100% of the time. All right, Jacob. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, Dare. Dare, man. Come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. I wish I had the option. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob. Wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Okay, now the crap happens. You can't avoid it. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well, Ben. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part cheesy? What? The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. The devil's gonna come when the sun go down. We didn't find a card. Oh man, here she is. She's gonna cry. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Guys, unfortunately, this is where the part is going to end. Uh, I would like to continue on, obviously, but then it will be the next chapter. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next video. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>